Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about the mass flow or the bulk flow or the pressure flow hypothesis. So what exactly happens is, now this is our xylem, it's got some water inside of it. This is our phloem's sieve tube, it's got sieve pits, it's got a nice a peripheral cytoplasm, it's got, a, it's got a vacuole, it lacks a nucleus. These are our companion cells. Now those are the companion cells of the leaf, the source, which has just done photosynthesis and has got abundant amount of glucose, which has now changed to sucrose. So there's a lot of sucrose inside of this. And this is our root, which doesn't really have anything right now it does have a few solutes but not as much as the leaf so now the leaf has to send its food or its sucrose to the sink which is the root so it has to go from the leaf to the root now how it is done is by the mass bulk or the pressure flow hypothesis so i'll tell you how it's done now I have shown you the sucrose within the source or the leaf and the sucrose within the phloem. So our companion cell, this single companion cell is not the only cell that is going to put sucrose into the phloem. There are lots of other cells around of the phloem that are also putting sucrose in the phloem. That's why the concentration of sucrose in the phloem is slightly higher than the concentration of sucrose in the source cell or the companion cell. So even though this has now got the freshly synthesized sucrose it is still the phloem that has more sucrose concentration but it is not so high as to bring water from the xylem inside of it it is high but not very high so maybe it's like isotonic with xylem i'm not sure about that so i won't comment on that but i'll just tell you that it's high concentration but not very high so since it is already high and it's higher than the companion cell if you want to put this freshly synthesized sucrose into this where this is low concentration this is high concentration you need to use active transport that's right okay 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 so now we literally used one ATP we did active transport this is known as loading so we loaded all of the solutes into the phloems to send it to our sink but how does the phloem know where the sink is because it could be a root or it could be some part above the leaf let's say some flower bud or something so how does the phloem know in which direction it should transport the solute now how does it know I'll tell you that in a minute, but let me show you this now. So it's become an extremely hypertonic solution. It's become very highly concentrated with solute. So now the phloem is extremely concentrated, so concentrated that the water from the xylem has to now move into the phloem by application of osmosis because there's almost zero water here and there's 100 water here. So there's a lot of water concentration here and no water concentration here. So it has to move from here to here. So I'll show you that in a minute. I'll write down all the details. So now I have written all the details. I have written that this is a hypertonic solution now. I have also written that this process is known as loading. And now water from the xylem is entering the phloem. So a lot of water from the xylem actually enters the phloem. So the phloem becomes very, very turgid. So even though it has a lot of solutes, it is now extremely watery as well. So let's see how that looks. Okay, 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 okay. Now this looks like our phloem is going to burst from this end. So the pressure has become extremely high in this region. Now look at the sink region. So the sink region barely has any pressure because it barely has any solutes. It's empty on solutes. There are no solutes here. There are no solutes here. There's no water going from the xylem into this part because this is not a hypertonic solution. Xylem only gives it water. It's water when it's a very hypertonic solution. So this place is not exactly hypertonic and this place is very hypertonic. So now this is a very high pressure region and this in fact is a low pressure region. So now answering your question, how the phloem realizes which part it has to transport its food to. So whichever the region of the sink is, it is at very low pressure. It's at very low pressure because it doesn't have any solute or any water. And since it lacks any solute or water, it barely has any water coming from the xylem. It doesn't have any solutes. So it's at low pressure. So it means that this part is craving food. So that's why the phloem has to now transport food from here to here so if it was somewhere else let's say it was a flower bud or somewhere above right then that place would be the low pressure region and the phloem would take its food to that direction but right now we know it is the bottom so all of this high pressure region it comes downward it squeezes downwards to this low pressure region because everything flows from high pressure to low pressure that's the law of the world 
Okay guys, so this region is now back to normal. All of the flow and solutes and everything has moved to this region. Now let me tell you one thing. Over here, since there is so much water, it's actually a dilute solution. It's even more dilute than xylem at times. I'm not sure about that. I'm not making any statements. But I think it is a very dilute solution. And this one has a little bit solute. Obviously, it's not zero on solute. Roots are not dying. They do have some solutes, but they are less compared to what the source had. So anyway, forget the source now. Let's Let's look at this place. So since it's a dilute solution, so if you look concentration wise, this has a higher concentration. This, this doesn't even have water, bro. It only has solutes. And this has so much water. So even though it has more solutes, the concentration doesn't depend on total amount of solutes. It depends on solutes per unit liter. So that is lesser here and that is higher here. That's why now when we have to move the solute from here to here, we have to unload the flow. We require ATP again. And now our phloem is unloaded, all of the solutes flow from the sieve tube to the companion cell of the root, the sink. And this is known as unloading and this is also active transport. So I hope you understood mass or bulk flow hypothesis. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did understand. Thank you. Bye.